You know me, SDMT. Check this out, man. Pete Carroll came out and said that an NFL team contacted him about his workout with Colin Kaepernick because they're interested in signing Colin Kaepernick. Now, this is huge right here, but it could be all cap. Let's look at this. Also, Pete Carroll said that he regrets not signing Colin Kaepernick after their work, his workout with the Seahawks because he pretty much said he's a starter and he deserves to start somewhere. Um, the way I look at that is kind of a weak statement because, you know, you're expecting somebody else to make the move for Kaepernick when you can just do it. You know what I mean? You can have a solid backup if that's the case. You know what I mean? So when we look at Pete Carroll, I kind of look at that as cap, um, you know, because, yeah, Russell Wilson is the starter. But if you can have a solid backup of Kaepernick, why not? And then allow him to use his platforms, you know, inspire change in America. So when I look at Pete Carroll with that statement, it's pretty much capped to me. You're pretty much deflecting it on to somebody else and these other owners and other coaches to make that move saying he's a starter. So, hey, why don't you sign a starter? You know, we look at the Saints. They had Teddy Bridgewater, who was a starter. Now they have Jameis Winston, who was a starter as well. So, hey, if you can get a high-quality backup, you get him. You know what I mean? You look at NFL teams. They're signing top rookie quarterback draft picks. You know what I mean? So, you know, for a potential starting position. So we got to look at it like that. Now, I look at Pete Carroll, you know, is he going to sign Kaepernick? I doubt it. Um, which teams are out there? You know, who knows? You know, we look at the Broncos. I don't know when was the last time the Broncos had a black quarterback. So, you know what I mean? Let's, <laughs> you know what I mean? Delete them out the conversation. I don't know. The Bears, who knows? You know, a lot of teams need a quarterback. And uh, could Kaepernick get an opportunity? Now, with this and all the, you know, um, conflict in America, no. But it'd be a great start to piss off a lot of racist people and get Kaepernick back in the league. You know what I mean? A lot of you guys are clowns. We look at it. Kaepernick in his last season, he had about 16 touchdowns, about four interceptions as a starter. You know what I mean? And then, you know, the 49ers didn't want to pay him a lot of the money because he had a very bad contract, which had a lot of incentives if he hit a lot of playing um, goals. If he hit him, he got extra millions of dollars. The 49ers didn't plan on keeping him, so they didn't want to pay him any extra millions of dollars. So they went with Blaine Gabbard, who threw five touchdowns and six interceptions. That wasn't an upgrade, you know what I mean? To take less stats from the white man to come in there to replace the black man. And he didn't do too much better. So we look at that situation, a lot of those clowns, oh, he wasn't that good. He actually was pretty good. He went to a Super Bowl. He has playoff wins. And you know what I mean? In his last year, he threw less than 10 interceptions and almost 20 touchdowns. That lets you know he can still get it done. When you look at guys like Blaine Gabbard and, you know, Mitch Trubisky and a lot of guys in the league that are not great quarterbacks, they have a job. So we look at Kaepernick, why he doesn't have a job is strictly based off of you know, people not agreeing with the protest and then certain organizations saying they're not going to support the NFL for, you know, if they hire Kaepernick. So that's why a lot of owners did not go along with hiring Kaepernick. They don't want to lose money when it comes to business. The owners mainly focus on money. And a lot of them also agree with certain political, you know, people, agendas that go against what the movement's about. So when we look at Kaepernick, he sacrificed a lot to, you know, it's pretty much his career to stand for something huge. We look at police brutality and his problem with, you know, George Floyd recently, you know what I mean? Breonna Taylor and a lot of these, you know, African-Americans and also other minorities, Mexican-Americans as well, um, losing their life because of police brutality. So what Kaepernick did was huge. He'll, he'll always be a legend to us for standing up for, you know, equality and, you know, taking a stand by kneeling, you know what I mean, to support minorities and police brutality in America trying to solve that problem. So I hope he does get an opportunity, man. It'd be great to see Cap in the league. A lot of people would be pissed off because they're fake, false narrative. Oh, he sucks. He was never good. That's false. He actually went to the Super Bowl. Look it up. You know what I mean? In his last season as a starter, he threw less than 10 interceptions. Look it up. You know what I mean? So he definitely can still play. They say he's still working out. He's still in great shape. We saw him making, him making great throws at his little NFL little workout thing they did. I don't know what that was, but you know what I mean? It would be great to see him back in the league. You guys, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and uh, follow me on Instagram at SDMT619. I'm out. SDMT!